All right, guys, we're back. This is gonna probably be more of a rambling type thing. Uh, at this point, I figured we'd just start calling this shit, this kind of shit, tunnel talk, because this is basically what it is. We go in a tunnel and we talk. But um, I did do just wanted to test some Nether quartz thing on the way over here. I just found a little thing, kind of did that, and it would appear that we indeed have our pickaxe obtain a little bit of durability. But I don't know. Um, I tested, like, one time, like, a few times, actually, I did most of the work with another pick, but then I switched to this, this thing, and when I switched to this thing, it got the red little thing there, so I'm not sure if I need to use this to get the, um, get the orbs to repair it. I, I have no idea. I guess we'll find out, but anyway, uh, since we're rambling, I guess we might as well start with the past things that have been happening, so... A little bit ago, I actually, um, went to see, um, I shouldn't talk too much about it, because I don't want to spoil it, because it is still kind of new, but I went to see, um, uh, Superman vs. Batman, or Batman vs. Superman, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and, um, I thought it was a good movie. A lot of people seem to be very against it for some, ooh, Whew. That was close. A lot of people seem to not like it's, I don't know, like acting or something I was hearing. Like, apparently their acting was terrible. I thought the acting was pretty damn good. Then again, unlike most people, I did say this to Tarius, I went in with no expectations. Like, I was a little bit of a Justice League kid. Like, I watched a little bit of the stuff. Like, some of those things just really stuck out to me, whereas others were just like, meh. But, um... Obviously, there's more coal, so I'm just checking this to see, like, if I get anything versus, you know, later. But anyway, um, I wasn't much of a Justice League kid, so again, I kind of just went in there expecting, you know, I don't know, a movie. And in terms of movies, it was good. I actually really liked it. I almost put it on a level with Dark Knight Rises, in my opinion. It was pretty damn good. But... I don't know. I could. I can see some of the things people are saying that were bad of it, but at the same time, I can't. I also didn't bring torches with me. That's just fucking great. Do I have some in the ender chest? I would imagine so. Of course not. You know what this means, guys? BRB. Great. Anyway, guys, we're back. But anyway, as I was saying, so it was a good movie in my opinion. Um, you, it had everything you expected if you've been watching. All the uh, DC Marvel stuff. It had Hans Zimmer's classic music and stuff like that. The awesomeness of Hans Zimmer, period. So there's definitely plenty of Hans Zimmer. Uh, I'm going to try this out now. Let's see if we actually get more uh, mending repair work done here. It doesn't really seem like it. We definitely don't have anything else of mending, do we? No. So this thing just does not... It's not as good as I thought it would be, but it's still something. It is technically a regenerating pickaxe, after all. So that's helpful in itself. I just have no idea if I have to mine with this or not to get it. I could very well just be completely wasting it. I don't think I do, because it doesn't really seem to be going up. I really have no idea, though. I really don't, at this point. At some point, we'll need to start a completely new mine, as I said before, as well. But... We'll see. But yeah, regardless, um, after this we'll do some, we'll kill some of those cows for their leather. We can try to hopefully get at the mats, because then we could start just enchanting boots and our armor. I would definitely want to enchant our armor. We're going to need to get to level 30 for that, obviously, but we can get there. But we can start enchanting boots too, and getting some stuff to sell, some really good stuff at that. Because boats, you can technically get any enchantment with them. Like, what actually matters is, um, you know, what you do with the enchantments. Like, for example, you, you can enchant a book and give it Forns and uh, Death Stride or whatever. And obviously it's up to whoever buys it for what they use it for. That kind of situation. I like that. I think that would make us some money. Whatever the fuck we want in terms of that money. Because we're not actually, you know, using real money. Well, I'm not IRL money. You know what the fuck I mean. We don't have a universal currency, and I do not want a universal currency. And I will fight to the death to ensure that there is no universal currency on this world. 
That's a thing a lot of roleplay type things do, even though we're not really, you know, roleplaying, we're just nations, but that's a lot of things these kind of Minecraft things do. They like sh to have, like, gold. Not me, thank you. I don't need it. Like, I want gold, it's helpful, but not for that. Yeah, anything that has experience, I'm just gonna start fucking using the pick on, just because I have no idea. I'll have to look into the mechanics. I don't think that is the case, but if that is the case, obviously, you know, we'll start fixing it. By making sure we actually get repairs. I'm just using too many torches. Not necessary. But yeah, good movie. Decent movie. Not, like, I don't know. I guess people really did think it was going to be, like, off the chain, I guess is the best way I can put it. And it was pretty damn good. But probably not as good as all the hype was saying it would be. Because they hyped it up pretty, pretty out there. They, like, they hyped it up pretty crazily. I'll just put it to you that way. Um... And then today, I did, um, Jason came today. That's why I was playing with him earlier. He was over at my house. And, um, he actually, we, I had bought a new graphics card. I got a Fury, the R9 Fury Nano, right? And I put it in this editing PC today. I haven't really gotten much chance to test it, like legit test it. So we'll see how it goes. So far, I've used it a little bit. No crazy test, as I said. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's helping the server out. It uh, looks like the architecture was better and stuff in it than my uh, free 90. I don't have a free 90 yet. I just have a normal free 90 of strites. Or as Jason let's call it, a strits or whatever the fuck. I like strites. For those of you who don't know what I mean by that here, let me just type it in chat. Unless this somehow gets converted into all, just pure audio, and, and then you're fucked. So I'll just spell it out for you: S T R I X Strits, or as I like to call it, Strites. Fucking hero Brian was behind me again. I swear to God, I hate that fucking weird texture glitch. Anyway, um, one thing though uh, that I was gonna say: fuck, what was I gonna say? Fuck, I had something. I don't remember. <laughs> fuck. I'm coming up with this shit pretty much on the spot, so I'm sorry if I might... There we go, diamonds. Perfect. Diamonds are helpful. I hear a skull. A skelly. Nearby. Witch, as well. That's not good. Definitely make sure we get all the diamonds, though. Let's just clear this out. You know what we do by now. Clear this shit out. Excavate them out, basically. Get all the diamonds we possibly can. And we definitely want the sand, too, for other purposes. What else have I been doing, really, recently? I'm trying to think. I've been pretty busy, honestly, just doing editing, watching YouTube videos. It's been a kind of... It's been a little boring since our last uh, talk, really, about this stuff. I really need to look up if, that's, if this is working or not. It doesn't really seem like it. I wish you could see the durability counters. I really do. That'd be helpful in this situation. A lot. I don't think I do, because I remember specifically I've had things repair themselves, I swear. That didn't have... This actually has mending, too. Let's put my bow away. That might be actually drawing some things. It's possible. That could be the case. Is my ender chest? Right here. I'm going to put this in the ender chest for now. The bow. And then to take out... Just... Uh, the iron for now. Because we can. And hopefully that'll... Force more of it to go into the mending pickaxe. We can only hope, really, at this point. Obviously, if... Uh, I'm down like one pick and this thing is still in the red. I'm obviously, you know, gonna look this shit up. Okay. So far things seem okay. This seems to be getting a little bit. But yeah, I really wish there was a durability thing on it. Speaking of things, well, you know what? How about Minecraft news? This 
There's so much in the future, though, so by now you know the answer to all these questions. I think that went up a sliver. But, um, in this time period, we're in the time period right now, all right? This is going to be a blast in the past. Get ready to have yourselves just, like, go, whoa. All right, Jeb recently uh, released a tweet on Minecraft showing um, polar bears, it looked like, in an Arctic region, and I'm very interested in that. Like, originally I was hoping, the rumor was that uh, because of some weird... Uh, tweet Jeb made that showed something with lava in the nether specifically, and another post where Endermen were in the fucking, um, were in the nether too, people started thinking, including myself, maybe this was finally the update where the nether gets an overhaul and, you know, gets some actual shit in it, other than this nether rack and, you know, the normal stuff in the nether. Some trees would be amazing in the nether. Just some actual plant life, please, and thank you. But you got my point. Anyway. So, that those speculations could still be the case, but this polar bear up, this polar bear edition has me questioning if that's actually still, actually, you know, the case. This is a weird vein. It's only seven or so. Whatever. Anyway, though. So, yeah, that has me questioning whether or not this is actually going to be the nether update or not. I have rotten flesh. Put that in there. So, you guys obviously by by the time these start this probably goes up, you might know the answer. You might not, or at least there'll be more information. But you know, I figure I'll just give you a little blast in the past of where we are in history right now, Minecraft history. This isn't really, you know, I'm gonna quickly look up how mending the mechanics work just so I know. So BRB. All right, guys, we're back. So I looked it up. You. Don't have to technically mine the material. You just have to um, have the item currently equipped in your hand or in your offhand. So I guess I could technically just do this, and it would work. It would just heal as long as I have it in that uh, slot there. As far as I know, we're gonna kind of experiment with this for a little bit. But anyway, this way it won't take damage either. Nice. Our mine shaft is looking a little bit funny because there's that giant hole of diamonds we have there now. But yeah, hopefully it does repair. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to think of more topics we can talk about while we continue to do this. I don't have much, that's the thing. It's been really quiet, as I said, this week. Uh, we Oh, I'm, I guess I can tell you what we, me and Jason were doing specifically today. So, after he installed my graphics card, you know, helped me and whatnot, uh, his computer's been having issues. He's been blue screening. Like, I was supposed to technically stream uh, some Hearthstone today. It's Sunday. Now it's Monday, but it was Sunday, technically. But, um, I'm weird. I technically don't count the next day till I wake up. Some I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. But anyway, um, basically, his computer was blue screening a lot, right? So we, me and him had this deal. Let me, let me start back to that, though. Me and him had this deal, which is another reason he came over today. Uh, we trade cards. He would, uh, install this card for me the R9 Fury Nano, and I would give him my R390, and he would give me a 970, a NVIDIA 970, and we did that, and when he took his NVIDIA 970 out and put in the R9 390, it, it exploded, like, everything, not literally, but, you know, it blue screen, there was issues, like, that was another thing, which is why we replaced the graphics cards, we were really worried about it, because, um, it was blue screen a lot. And we didn't really know what it is. We still didn't, don't really. We didn't ever figure it out. But, um, so it was like, when I say it was bad, I mean, it wasn't a graphics crash. I don't know how to describe the image we saw. And yes, this is working as long as I have it in my offhand. Awesome. Perfect. So this thing will get nice and repaired now. But anyway, um, I don't know how to describe it other than just like, it looked like a video dump. Like, or a graphics dump. Like, Everything went from the normal Windows 7 stuff, because that's what he uses, Windows 7, to, like, this white, pink, blurred... It, 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 I don't know how to describe it. It looks like it fucking was like an explosion of color, really. And while it might look cool, you couldn't see anything. Like, eventually the Windows logo faded into it. It just it looked terrible. It was basically, like, we thought... Some of us, aka me, was worried that the graphics card might have died... Which would have been terrible, because I had just given him that damn card. I would have felt bad. But, 
Jason thought it was the drivers, and I thought, yeah, that's probably true as well, because it just seemed to be happening when he tries to install the driver. Like, when he removed the graphics card's driver, it just started working, so we're like, okay, fine. And, weirdly enough, when the NVIDIA driver was in there and removed and all that stuff, there was no issues with the card, which is weird. It worked better when it had the NVIDIA driver in it versus that, but anyway... We f I'm figuring that was just because it was the normal Windows standard default graphics driver to function with the card. But anyway, so we did that. That happened. And what we did is we ended up having to... We were thinking of doing this originally when he originally came over anyway, just because we could. And we've done this so many times at this point with that damn computer. Um, we figured we'd reset the entire thing, which basically we back everything up to the server or anything important that we need. AK from his computer, or he needs specifically, depending. Because there are some stuff that he does for me that I specifically needed, obviously. But, um... And then we just literally... He puts in the, the Windows 7 disk and formats the whole drive, and boom. Or auto-formats it, because Windows 7 does that. And... It fits the problem! He put the card in, installed the new drivers, and everything just started working, so... I really wish we figured out what the actual problem is, because I am one of those kind of people I... Curiosity is a thing, a big thing for me. So I'm very interested what actually made it happen, but the, but at the end of the day, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just fucking happy that you know we fixed it. Where are we? Oh, we're in some kind of cave system. Huh. I said we explore it. We haven't been to a cave system in a while. We need something to do. Well, actually, we'll do that in a bit. Hang on. Do we have any signs on us? Technically, no. Let me check our ender chest. There might be some in the ender chest. Because if there is, I can just mark it up with a sign. Yeah, we have signs. Good. I'll put a sign there and we can come back a little bit. After real top moment's done, basically. Like, if we need to repair some more, because I figure those of you watching this want to hear the real, or not real talk, rambling talk, you know. Tunnel talk, as we're going to start to call it, I guess. Rambling number two, the tunnel talk. I don't know. All right, there. Signs are useful, as you can see, though. So let's go. I should go about this. Let's go down a level for the moment, just so we can kind of avoid chopping down that water thing. And then, after a little bit of picking away, we can go back to where we were in terms of mining. Because level 11 is just the end of discussion. My place to mine, I like to mine there. But yeah, it was scary when it was happening with the graphics card, though, because um, the explosion just looked really bad. Like, it'd probably scare any guy guy or girl, to be fair, that is just like, trying to mess with a computer thing. Like, imagine this, right? You, you put in a new card or a new RAM or anything new into the computer, and immediately you get a screen looking like it just kind of barfed up rainbow. How would you feel? Would you feel, ooh, rainbow, or would you be like, oh, fuck, everything's gonna die, I fucked up. That's kind of how we both felt at that moment. I mainly felt guilty because, you know, I just gave him the fucking card after all, like, what the hell is he gonna do? Because Jason's situation is complicated. He'll talk about it if he wants to talk about it, but let's just put it to you this way. Uh, he's not the most wealthiest of people. So, and you can't help it. That's just life, really. But he continues on. He doesn't give himself enough credit. That in itself is pretty damn admirable. A lot of people would have given up in his kind of situation. But, regardless, I digress. Yeah, basically, it was scary. <laughs> it's the best way I could fucking put it. That, that was some scary shit happening. When that was happening. Let's throw that away. Give me more redstone as we continue to repair this pit. Damn it! Bad water. Bad. Why are you so bad? Give me this redstone, thank you. I'm actually happy he I had all these signs made. On top of the ones he gave me. It made sure that I can just continue to mine. But yeah, how fucking deep is it? Seriously. How much water can it possibly be? It's a mine. It's not an ocean. The moment I hit an ocean, like on all sides, is the moment I say screw the mine. 
and uh, basically probably start a new Nether Portal one, the spawn one. Because I'm pretty sure if I get super lucky, obviously this is super lucky, but I guess it's not that possible. If I get super lucky, I could spawn a portal around diamond level and just spawn next to diamond. That would be amazing if that actually happened. Really would. I'd be happy too if that happened. Tons of redstone down here. We're near bedrock level though, so I don't think we're going to hit lava. I hope we don't hit lava. That would be terrible. We'd lose all our shit. But yeah, when we're out of um when we're out of this normal pit, I guess we can just fucking uh once or no, when I'm down to the just standard non enchanted pit, I guess we can just um switch to the cave system to get experience orbs. Cause that's one thing the cave systems have plenty of. I'm not even going to bother with the cobblestone at this point. It's just cobblestone. It's useful, but, you know. Better things in life to get. A.K.A. DIAMOND! Obviously. But yeah, this mending thing will help a lot over the course of this. Give us plenty of orbs. Plenty of repair as well. When I don't see the damn thing up there, I'll start, I'll move up a level again and look for diamonds. We've definitely already found some diamonds, which is awesome. I don't want to break this pick either, though. I don't know, maybe we will. It is just an un unbreaking pick, after all. We'll see. Should we get this iron? I hear lava or something. That's dangerous. Anyway, I'm trying to find... What else I can talk about while I'm in here? Again, I'm sorry if some of you um, don't like this stuff. Obviously, you know, just skip ahead. We are just looking for diamonds at this point. If anything exciting happens, I'm pretty sure you know what happened. By next episode. This is just mainly me talking. Doing this in one long episode. Basically for anyone who's not seen the first rambling series. first rambling series was a bit more exciting because I was more energetic and I was more used to staying up late. I'm technically getting back into the swing of recording on a regular basis now again. I don't mean because of the strike either. I mean because of um, I do Minecraft in batches unless somebody kind of gets me on. By that I mean like somebody's like all three people are online or some big event is absolutely happening and I must be there kind of situation. So technically some of that stuff you were seeing is probably like by now a week or two old. And that's how I do it. I batch record it in mass like that. That way I can edit it all easily and whatnot. And it works out pretty damn well. The only issue of course being um, primarily that simple fact that it kind of time passes, obviously, while editing, and because it's batch recorded, you know, which is why when people come on, it's a nice touch to kind of just come back and do that. Let's move up now. I think we're good. I think the water's gone. I still hear it, but it seems to mostly be gone at this point. Mind this out as we go as well. Hopefully, we will find... Ooh. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Guess we're not ready for that. I always want to go blaze hunting too, but we'll see. Because again, I'm getting a headache now. That's normally a sign I should probably get off. We'll see. Where did I just randomly get that magma cream? What the hell? <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Right, well, we should head back soon just to make some more torches and stuff. And I'll also give myself a minute to process another topic, maybe. We'll see. I want to keep going until we run out of pits at this point. We need to get tons of uh, diamonds. But yeah, for now, we'll head back, just so I can get more torches. So, BRB, everybody! Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, ooh. Still don't entirely know what to talk about, so this is just great commentary. I might since I'm so tired, I think we're just going to call rambling for tonight done. A good talk, I know. Not much to talk about, and I know some of you are probably disappointed, but 
that's probably going to be it. So, unless I can face something to talk about at some point, I'm just going to have this keep going, but it's going to be muted, and we're going to do speed run style. So, yeah, we'll, well, I'll just say enjoy that. So, yeah.